I like this elevator because he talks to you. So we are on the way to Magic Kingdom from, you know, our very long walk from the contemporary. I mean, the resort not conveniently located at all. And we get a monorail going by. We figured, we, we could have taken the monorail, but we figured how many times in our life are we gonna be able to actually walk to Magic Kingdom? So we said, mm, we better walk, and it's not raining this morning. So, what time is it, 7.15ish? Yes. The park opens at eight, so we're hoping to get in a little bit early so that maybe we could take some pictures on Main Street with nobody there. While everyone else is running to Seven Dwarfs Mine Train, we'll just, <laughs> we'll just take some pictures. We made it through the temperature check. No temperature, probably because it's freezing outside. And <clears throat> we also made it through security. And the guy was like, do you have any umbrellas? Hold them out. And mom was like, look in. She was like, and I was like, mom, you don't have an umbrella. <laughs> and sometimes when you they talk to you, you're like, what? It's like you're trying to process what they're saying. You're just got Magic Kingdom on the brain. You're like, what? what's an umbrella? <laughs> Thank you. It's so calm. It's so calm. There's no one screaming at you at security to like open your bags. No one's running. It's a very odd sensation. I guess in 2020 we all learned patience. <laughs> Even though our patience has been tested a lot this year. <laughs> oh look. Everything looks so pretty. Yeah, everything looks so pretty for Christmas. And then this is gonna be our first time seeing Cinderella's castle. Now that she's got a little paint job, we saw it last night. But this will be the first time seeing it in real life. Yeah, look how calm everyone is. Yeah, everyone's so calm. I love it. Oh, it's pretty. It's pretty. Yeah, look how calm everyone is on Main Street. There's like no screaming or yelling. I mean, we've been to Disney a bunch of times and we've never seen it this calm in the morning. Normally by the end of the night, people are pretty calm because they're so worn out. But yeah, this is interesting. This is the perk of getting up early. Yes, we did good. We did good. We, park we watched, like we kept waking up periodically in the night to see what Cinderella's castle looked like in the middle of the night to see. They never turned off the lights. So she was lit up the whole night. I kept waking up and mom would be standing at the window like, what's Cinderella <laughs> doing this morning? Oh yeah, we need to take a picture. This is awesome. I mean, just look, there's no one here. Zero minute wait time for the spring rolls. We had a mini photo shoot in front of the castle and now we're trying to get in line for the jungle cruise because we anticipate that being kind of a long line. Because normally they're able to, you know, shove, I don't know, 25, 30 people on a boat. And I don't know how many people are going to be able to put on a boat these days. So we're going to hit that first because we must go do it. Because it's the Jingle Cruise. It only happens once a year. Oh, yeah. I think the, wa yeah, the water's drained. I can see it from here. Come on, there is a zero minute wait for Country Beer Jamboree. <laughs> I know that's the line we were worried about today. We are worried. Always worried about not being able to get on it. Yeah, look. So they have the Splash Mountain Water and they have some egrets that are fighting. It's almost like we're at Animal Kingdom. And then, yeah, all of the water's drained in Tom Sawyer River. Which is a good thing that we rode the boat <laughs> last March. You find that the more you go to Disney, the more you realize like, oh, I haven't done this ride, I haven't done that ride. So I think it was last March we were like, we've never been on the river boat. So we went on it, it's actually really fun. 
but it is something that you do when you have extra time because it's about a 20 minute ride. So we were gonna do Jungle Cruise, but they don't open till nine, which I'm like, what? I wonder what the cast members are doing because they're all just sitting there looking kind of bored. So they must have to do like some sort of rehearsal for their jokes. So we're gonna do Pirates <laughs> instead because they're already letting people on the li in line for Pirates. So, well, we're gonna time it. It says it's a five minute wait, but we're gonna time it and see how long it takes. So it says it's a five minute wait, and we started, we're in line now. Okay. I think it might be a five minute. Normally when it says it's a five minute wait, that just normally means however long it takes you to walk through the queue. <laughs> yes, like, the Finding Nemo ride at Epcot has the longest queue in the world, but I've never waited more than five minutes, and it's literally just, it literally takes you five minutes to walk through the queue. Just stepped off of Pirates. We got a little wet, because <laughs> uh, we were in the front row. And so, the park is still not super crowded. It's like just at opening now. It's like 8.05 or something. So we're gonna see about riding either Big Thunder or Haunted Mansion, since those tend to have longer queues from what we've seen during the day. So, we want Pico's Bill to open up. Let me in! Let me in! I need nachos at eight in the morning. <laughs> so we're in line for Big Thunder and they have plexiglass up for when the line starts to back up. And we're here waiting in line. It says it's only gonna be a five minute wait. I think it's gonna be closer to seven or 10 just because we're kind of backed up and now there's, there's actually people in the line, not like pirates or it was a walk on. But they have hand sanitizer throughout the queue and they don't have, normally they have like little cranks for you to play with when you're in line. They got rid of those because they don't want you touching stuff. Okay, any uh, guesses how long we waited? You said seven minutes, I'll go with seven. Oh my god, seven minutes. Am I good? You're good. Is this a game show that I could be on? Yes, it is. What's the prize? Free Disney trip. Yeah, Dis great. Disney, please hit me up. If, if any of you folks are wearing hats or glasses, miss me move them, because this here's the wildest ride in the wilderness. <laughs> So we go to get off the ride, and mom looks at me with horror, and she goes, "Oh no!" And I was like, "Oh my gosh!" Did like our, someone's cell phone like fly off? Like, what are we? What are we missing? And she goes, "The hand sanitizer is stuck to the ride." I don't even know how that happened. It's like because one of the, the hole, and then when I set my bag down, the hand sanitizer just went in the hole, but it went in so good. I don't know why I couldn't get it back out. And when she did it, it snapped a little. Um, Plastic bag. Yeah, it's like one of those hand sanitizers that like hangs on your bag <laughs> and it just like oh, snap right off. And, it, and so now, if you if you ride Big Thunder Mountain Railroad, <laughs> you may get a free Bath and Body Works hand sanitizer. It smells like winter candy apple. It's in a little polar bear holder, so a little free gift <laughs> from us to you. But yeah, now we don't have hand sanitizer. Well, we have it at the resort, but this is the only one we brought, so we're just gonna have to use the dispensers that they have here at the park. <laughs> We've had a pretty good morning. We've pretty much got on every ride that we want to. Um, we haven't really, we just got to Tomorrowland. We haven't ridden anything here. But I mean, we've ridden Jungle Cruise, Haunted Mansion, pretty much everything in Adventureland. It was pretty much a walk on first thing this morning. Lines are kind of getting long, um, but not too bad. And so we came to Cosmic Rays, one, because we love their chicken nuggets. 
two for the Shishire Cattail. You normally can get it at the Shishire Cafe across the street, but because of COVID, that's closed. So you have to come here and you have to mobile order. Their security is tight. Um, we tried to come in here before our order was like confirmed ready and they were like, no, absolutely not. So keep that in mind if you're coming. So, we're gonna give it a try. Okay, mom, I'm gonna try it. Okay. It's kinda tough. She a little overdone. I'm just gonna take, pick it up. So, it's like a chocolate croissant drizzled with little pink and purple frosting. I'm pretty good, it kinda tastes like a, a toaster strudel. This is like $5. She's being resourceful, she put the ketchup in her hot chocolate lid. Yeah, now you have to drink all of it. It is yeah. tough. Yeah, it's almost like it's been in the, the oven too long, the warmer. It reminds me of something, I can't remember what. It reminds me of Toaster Strudel. In the I mean, yeah, the chocolate's the best part. <laughs> and then we're sharing a kids' meal because we have a bigger, a bigger lunch later. Lunch is just a breakfast, so we're sharing a kids' meal of chicken nuggets. And normally, Casa Gray's has the really good ranch dressing with the pump that they make it, but because of everything having to be like pre-wrapped, we get tens. But you do get Heinz ketchup. <laughs> Okay, we're walking out of the Emporium. It's finally stopped raining. We saw a cavalcade of princesses. And now, above the train station are all the characters. So there's Minnie, and Peter Pan, Mary, of course, Pluto, and Tigger. We are now leaving the Magic Kingdom. We'll be back, but it's been cold and rainy this morning, so we've decided we're gonna go back to the hotel and pick up our sweatshirt. Thank you. Have a great day, Thank you. And since we are staying so close to the Magic Kingdom, we figured we'd just pop on the monorail and go get our sweatshirts. Maybe Mom can change her shoes because her shoes got wet this morning. <laughs> She's gonna blue shoes. I might even change pants. She might even change pants. It's been like kind of cold and windy too. So that's why we still have our ponchos on to kind of keep the wind off of us. Resort monorail. That's us. That's us. Resort monorail.